This is a picture, it's high street. Now it's right. not quite great, it, it's not bad. Now does a person stand in the middle, they're slightly faded because they probably moved. Yeah, they're on the them. right hand side, you lead up to Kinkora House that we spoke about yeah. earlier on. And then into the left halfway would be what would be now the back entrance into, into Tesco. Tesco. But down, uh, down below those was a deep sand pit. Down where? D down behind those houses as well. If, if you're down on that area, you see there's a the Kinkara House is overlooking Key Street. Yes. So down below that there was a sand pit, was there? which was bothering out on the roadway le leading down onto the harbour itself. Oh my God! Yeah. Never knew that. And the, the houses here had they were replaced. That's that's um. They they were replaced. Are they gone now? Are they? They're they're gone. They were replaced with red brick fronted houses. I have a beautiful slide of that. They were the bricks were and there was a row over this because remember we had two brick factories in the town at the time. And the bricks were imported from Wales, and um, uh, Mr. Duff was the contractor. He was from Skerries, and he built the houses there. And they are they are beautiful. Yeah. And they reflect the sunlight in the evening time. I'm sure there's a beautiful. Warm. Yeah, I love, beautiful. I love the houses. Yeah, beautiful. That, 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 that was um, High Street. That's High Street. That's yeah. picture number four. Got its name because it's overlooking the harbour. It is High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Now we're on number six. Now it's the harbour. It's the harbour. Yeah. It's, it's an old photo again, isn't yeah. it? Because you not, can see not, the sails in here, you yes. can see the sails over to the left. Not, not very presentable. No. Even at that stage when the tide is out. You had the salt walks over here. Yeah. The salt water was taken from uh, out the back, out of the back strand, and it was boiled. Just, uh, yeah. Desalination. Uh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Evaporation. And um, then the, the, the residue was removed, which was salt, and, and dried out properly. The thing about that was it was a boy boiled to death in that. His, his people, his father was walking in it, and um, he was the young lad was taken in. He was 16. He fell into the water. Didn't and um, during the lunch break, the, 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 the vats containing the water had sloping sides because there were duck boards around them on the outside, and the, the spatulas were put on the salt up. Now um, it would appear that when the father was having a, a break to get uh, something to eat, the young lad toppled into the thing and wasn't noticed until the father came back out and found him. Oh my God. McKenna was his name. Oh God, right. But that, that's the, 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 the river that slows down. Yeah, yeah. The right, back in the right back in. Yeah, that's right, right, right down at the back of my house. We might be coming think. back to more of these, I'm not yeah. sure. That's the market okay. house. Number seven. The market this, green. And we, we, I love saying this because I, I forget where I heard it, but that was Manchester Street. That's right, it's Manchester, Manchester Street. Street was the name of the market green. Ah, uh, well, well, well. And apparently, we heard this was a hospital at one stage. Now these could be nurses or something. Yeah, no, I'm not so sure about that. You're not I, sure about no, that. No, but it was. I know it was built in the early 1800s, very early 1800s. Right. But I wouldn't be sure about it being a bit hospital. small for a yeah. hospital, wouldn't it? Well, I know there's your man. <laughs> yeah. Breastfeeding the shovel. Yeah. But you, you you heard the story, of course, about the, the relief work was going on in the town, and um, the labour exchange sent down five more lads to the job. And when they got down, the gang was confronted with them. He hadn't got enough. Tools, we said, you know. So he got on with, with a, um, a telegram into the county council office. Five new men on the job, not su not uh, sufficient shovels. Yeah. And he got word back, tell the men to lean on each other. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Well, that's, this here was the scout then. <coughs> now, yeah, now yeah. Who, who lived in that? I'll tell you who lived in it, at, at, maybe not at that stage, but certainly coming up to the, to the First World War. The fellow by the name of Paddy Larkin, and he took over as lamp lighter from my granddad. He, put, oh, oh, he, like he took over, yeah. Wow. He used to call him Bell the Soup because he wore a, a hard hat without a rim, you know, it just comes down I with know, a, I know. a ball, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. What would you say? Is, is that a uniform on that man there? Is it there? looks to be of some sort, but why I don't know. No. I don't know. But he's obviously doing some relief work there, that because that's a, that's a sort of a trench. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yes. What is that? Can you see what that is? It's like a turtle make of what it There's is. Something for, 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 you see, it could be cleaner. Now, a lot of these places had... Was a drain or something? Had a drain. Yeah, yeah, And they yeah, had yeah. A, a scoop shovel. Yeah. And they'd be digging it. It does look like he's digging something out. Yeah. It looks like he's... Because we used to follow them around us when we were kids. And we'd see them clearing the show because there'd be marbles. Oh. you play a marbles <laughs> and marbles fell into it. Oh, great, yeah. Okay, we go to the next one. That's St. George. St. George's, George's Church. Yeah. Now, would you believe it? There's another one. Now, yeah. that might be on the actual post there on the 
on the pillar. See the pillar of yeah. the gates. Well, they had to have that. They got the gentry attend the religious service. So they would have had to yeah. have it lit there. Indeed. I can see the crow's nests. No, so. Always. Mm. was always crows there. Was it? In those elm trees. So we know that's February, March. It's early in the year. It's yeah. early, early, whatever the, the year it was. Around this time of the year, I would yeah. imagine. But if you wanted to know anything about the, the history of Balbriggan, get into the church and read all the read all facts, the facts on, the, on, on the wall. Great, yeah. great. We don't know who that man is. No, no. It's not Harry Reynolds or whatever. No, but not at all. Look at that. It looks like, it looks like the tyre is burst or something to me. And that the back is bad, the back tyre. Yeah, on the other hand, it could be, it could be the tyre. Yeah, because tyres were the scarce. Were the scarce. But it, could, it looks like it was repaired. So yeah, and, and snapped on. Yeah. Now the boys at the club as such used to meet down in the long, um, thatched cottage down at Bramall. They, they, that, that was their headquarters. So who knows who? Who, who knows? knows? God knows. Great shot, isn't it? That's a marvelous shot. Without a doubt, and in fashion. Yeah. That's the lighthouse. Uh, the the, um, the coast, guard. coast guard station. Right, we're on number 10. Yeah. And for those who, who don't know where this is, well, it's actually fairly easy to figure out. You can see the Martello Tower in the Martello background. Island. So it, it's in what is now the park. Yeah. This, this here were, were um, constructed for, for weather warnings for passing ships. They had cones on that, storm cones. On, on, on this kind of... On, on that apparatus there. Really? And if, if they were in, um, pointing down the wind was going to come from a southerly direction. If they were pointing up, the wind would be northerly, and voice and, and the same situation down for east and west. Well, so ships passing by with a telescope have a could look, look in, and would, they would have a weather forecast as far as the wind was concerned. Oh my God, I didn't know what that was. Were, I thought they, it was like an ornament for no, they were, they were, they were the storm, the storm bothered. Well, well yeah, done, that's yeah, brilliant. Uh, is that a cracking shot? That was born to 1920, so we know it's before 1920. If it's during the trouble, somebody in, in, in their wisdom decided to, to blow it up. It would be better, it would hindsight to leave it. Yeah, because it was it part was, of our history. Yeah, right? and it was an addition to the whole area as yeah, well. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful yeah. looking building. It was a red brick uh, building. I have, have uh, pictures of it, similar to the, to the construction of the, uh, the present library. Right, yeah. the, the Carnegie Library, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a marvellous building, isn't it? And you can see there's a guy here at the steps to the bottom right, and it looks like they were grown. Would they have been grown their own food? You see, like cabbages you see, or something? see the, this thing here, this the white, the white yeah. like the, well, yeah. they, they were all water tanks. There were a, a number of those um, spread out within the grounds of, of the And would they be supplying the water for the house? To the house in case of fire as well. The unfortunate thing about them that when the place was blown up and destroyed and things got very bad during the 1930s, there were a lot of people, tramps, beggars, the destitute, yeah. and coming to Balbriggan, they would spend the night on one of those. They'd fill it up with grass, or bits of straw, or anything else. Well, it is, it is. Yeah. It's, oh, it must have been that bad, really, yeah. Was, that's the situation that's we the only shelter they could get? Yeah. Wow. Okay, again, this is... That's uh, around the sea banks. The sea banks, yeah. yeah. You can just see the way they, 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 they painted the stones. It's probably for... Hoyfoshed. Hoyfoshed, yeah. yeah. Because further down at the back of Martella Terror, there were two two uh, buildings, you see them there, the remains were still there, where they converted shells and a particular type of stone into into lime. They lived huge for That's right, the remains are still there, right? They're still just there. built, that's right. And remember that 80% of the houses in the, in, in, the, in, the, in Balbriggan and around there they were hoi-washed. Right, yeah. yeah. There is a story going that one family, and I give you the, the date, it was 1917, Things were starting to get a little bit flush, mm. and they, they heard this business about um, wallpaper. So they bought some, brought it home to the house, and all. House is still there, it's in Scary Street. I won't name any names because they'd, <laughs> they'd be blushing all over the place. Yeah. But they didn't know how to put the wallpaper up. So what they did, they nailed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Big but, masonry but, nails! The wonders <laughs> of science now, they've progressed so far yeah, they can never yeah. able to stick it up. That's, that's the truth. That's great. Yeah. 